There's so many things happening today. We have a lot of severe weather to talk about. I'm meteorologist Michaela Smith, but by tomorrow, Wednesday, this kind of kickstarts multiple days in a row that we're talking about the chance for severe weather. So Wednesday, you can see this area outlined in red. That's going to be the kind of that general thunderstorm area, but we have a marginal risk. That's that level one out of five, and we're watching for storms late on Wednesday night into the overnight Thursday. Now, as these storms originally formed, we're going to watch for maybe the risk for hail to begin with, but really the day that kind of everyone is keeping their eyes on now is Thursday. So Thursday, you can see this larger red area. That's going to be that general thunderstorm risk. And then this green, that's that marginal, still level one out of five risk. Usually we talk about those higher levels when it's more springtime, March, April, May. But we're talking about multiple days again of severe weather chances in January. So Thursday's risk is morning storms round one, kind of what's left over from Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And then if storms can refire up, kind of get going again in the afternoon, all hazards will be possible on Thursday and then Friday. Another area that we're watching is going to include portions of you see moving that over a little bit more. We're going to include portions of Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi. That'll be an area of concern and then even into Saturday as well. We'll be keeping a close eye on some of these storm chances. So showing you the significant hail model for today, you see a little bit of this kind of white and gray, not overly concerned with the hail forecast for today or those hail chances. Tomorrow, this is right around 8 p.m., you start to see some of these oranges, these yellows showing up in Texas. And then especially as you get to about three, four o'clock in the morning, right along the Red River, that's where we start to see more of these yellow and orange colors. That's indicating to us that there is going to be enough lift. There's enough ingredients in the atmosphere that we could be talking about the chance for hail tomorrow. So we'll get a little bit closer view again. This is right around six o'clock south of San Angelo. Even though this is showing the potential for hail, we don't have storms really in that area. So if we had storms forming, that means, okay, they could use some of that energy. But if no storms are there, it's just showing that the atmosphere would be capable of producing hail if a storm is in that kind of location. So this is right around 10 p.m., but where we do start to see storms actually form is gonna be again closer to that three, four time o'clock in the morning tonight into Wednesday night into Thursday right along the Red River. So going from Texas into Oklahoma, we'll also watch this area back near Lubbock into Midland. We could see some storms forming out there as well. Wednesday night into Thursday, that'll initially have that better chance for hail as you head into Thursday morning. Some of those more elevated storms before the wind threat will be something that we kind of change our perspective to becomes more of that greater threat. Second half of Wednesday night storms into Thursday. So here is that hail forecast. You can see areas highlighted here in yellow, and then we have this orange color for the potential of maybe ping pong to golf ball size hail. Parts of Oklahoma and Texas, really Western Oklahoma, that area of concern. But as we look at this risk, the risk level is still going to be low. These are very isolated storms that we're talking about Wednesday night into Thursday. There's still a lot of if with this storm system. So if the conditions come together, if things start to play out the right way, if things slow down enough that we can see some of these ingredients coming together, this is going to be that area that we're watching again for the potential for hail. But Oklahoma City, Lubbock, San Angelo, Dallas, you're not even included in this risk. Areas like Lawton, that risk level is still pretty low for Wednesday. I also want to show you those forecast hail sizes. So like we talked about, golf ball would be the maximum size hail that we're talking about Wednesday. I think most of what we see will be less than golf ball. So ping pong, quarter, pocket change size hail will be really our concern that we're watching for Wednesday. Along with the hail threat, we also have the threat for wind. So what we mentioned, starting off, we're just going to see more of that hail with those elevated storms. As the storms progress overnight and it transitions more into that wind threat. So you can see this has shifted a little bit more to the east. So areas like Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Wichita Falls, Abilene, Dallas, you're still not included in this risk for storms. But this will be kind of that area, that corridor that we're watching for wind gust on Wednesday night into Thursday. Even then you're still seeing that risk level. We're keeping it pretty low. A few isolated storms will be possible. Not talking about widespread scattered severe weather by any means on Wednesday into Thursday. Wednesday night into Thursday morning. This is showing you right around 6 a.m. This is one of our models. This is the graph here. And you're seeing some storms across parts of Oklahoma, back into the Texas Panhandle, even Kansas. So this is where we're watching Thursday morning. This low pressure system right here pushes more of these storms across portions of the Midwest. So Missouri, Illinois, Iowa, we'll have to watch this area too for storms. That's where that general thunderstorm risk is, but that's in the morning, early afternoon. 
Really, this area down here is we're going to have to watch for that second round of storms to try to form Thursday into Friday, and that'll have a better chance if storms can form in that area to see almost a severe weather. So the tornado threat, the wind threat, and the hail threat. This is early Friday morning. Here's that line of storms. So this model's pushing things a little bit later. So what we talked about, maybe possibly Thursday night, this model is showing it Friday morning. But that's that area that we're watching for again Thursday into Friday for the next chance for storms. Now let's talk about that hail forecast for Thursday. It's a little bit wider of an area. You can see it includes areas like Tulsa, Little Rock, Shreveport, Springfield. But even then what we're talking about again is a lower risk right now. There's a lot of conditional threats to be able to see this hail possible on Thursday. But this is that area that we're watching for right now. This will change. This map will change over the next few days. So make sure you're staying up to date with us here at Hail Trace as we can give you that newest information. And I went ahead and said Thursday right now with it's just being so far out and not having a ton of details yet with some of those forecast models. We're talking about maybe ping pong ball size hail. This will also likely change as we get a little bit closer to Thursday. And then I, what I showed you earlier is that this is a multiple day event. So we have Wednesday, we have Thursday. We've talked about both of those days. Now let's talk about Friday. Here's this area that we're watching for Friday. So it's parts of Arkansas, parts of Texas, Louisiana. And this is going to be a daytime evening storm threat. So scattered showers and storms are possible. Could it lead to all hazards possible in the evening with some of these storms? So we'll have to keep a close eye on Friday. But again, this is still several days out. So a lot of forecast details are going to change depending on how much uh, energy the atmosphere uses on Wednesday and Thursday too will kind of impact some of these storm chances on Friday. And then Friday really a big concern too will not only be storms, but the chance for flash flooding. We already again multiple days out have a level two risk for flooding. So that means that hazard is scattered flash flooding, not isolated, but multiple reports of flash flooding will be possible Friday.